Hello everybody and welcome to today's video or podcast on Twitter is suing Elon Musk for 44 billion dollars over the deal but they wanted him to take over the company so that is the latest news happening now so welcome to the Joshua Jehuda show I call it the Joshua Jehuda podcast where I talk about the latest headlines and what is happening and what how it affects you and how it affects me and what we can do about it and if we need to do something about it or we need to ignore it or we need to say you know it's not my problem yet again everything that happens somehow might affect us even though it is in another country or another state or across the the ocean some things tend to affect you because what we are all connected we live in the we are one we are all connected so what issue affects one can affect all in many cases if not all at all so hope you're okay hope you are fine welcome to today today is the uh, 13th of july it is wednesday the 13th of july it is 10 o'clock here 10 a.m to be precise gmt time in the uk so hope you had a great night wherever you are if you're awake if you have a noon hope you had a lovely morning and so forth and so forth today i'm going to read from sky news it's love of the news twitter is suing about If you type in Twitter deal on in Google, you will find out that tweet, all the news is saying that Twitter is suing Elon Musk. Looks like the deal has not gone through yet or was supposed to go through and somehow the board, the deals were not going to go through as properly meant to be. So now it is headlining across the, I said across the world to be honest. So does it affect you? yes and no well it could affect you if you, don't, if you are not on twitter people will say well it doesn't affect me i don't use social media but the people who are using social media are the ones who create your laws and your statutes so if you keep an update on what is happening it's easy for you to know what is happening in your neighborhood and what affects your laws of your country or your your leader or your could be your government so if you don't say you don't use social media so since so you say that it doesn't affect me yet when the laws are put into place you don't know what's happening but is it as a source of information to know what is happening it's very good to learn the latest because it's very small tweets and you don't have to be following a certain newspaper or a certain you have to subscribe to a magazine or watch tv to learn the news so twitter helps you deliver news from across the globe it stands in real time real time so it is necessary yes even if you are not on twitter or you're not on social media or you don't follow politics that was me, I know I still follow politics, but now I do because I want to see what is happening and I want to be ready to make the next the next moves either to avoid certain certain uh, decisions or I'm gonna get you know wealthy making certain amount of money following the trends or looking at the markets. So now I'm a uh, follow it hundred percent, not because I like it or because there's a lot to know, so you keep ahead of the game. Now we know what is happening in real time, so in case anything is it's an opportunity you can make a move it's a threat you can make a move so yeah so i encourage you to always start and look around start with positive news obviously if you can handle the negative news start with positive news all news is positive but start with news which uplifts you i then read the others if you start on a day with disasters and heartbreaks and murders and crimes and theft then that's what your mind will pick up but if you start with a positive tone that is great so yeah so learn so that is how it will affect you because Everywhere in the world, well, most of us in the world, there is law. And uh, unless you live in an island far away, you've got internet over there, and you know, probably not come by anyone. Fair enough, but still, somebody want, may want to come and hey, want to live there. You never know, because somebody might see it. So, by knowing what is happening, it's good you, you keep all aware. It's always good. So, you don't want to be caught unaware. That's the key. It's not about, oh, how to benefit. Just being aware is important. Because once you're aware of your surroundings, of the news, of the laws that you're in, you will not say some laws say ignorance is not a reason to it's not a reason so i didn't know it's not good enough nowadays in laws here in england see i didn't know there's a spitting camera there so please forgive me no he didn't know that's it you should know so yeah so ignorance whereby some laws this doesn't know i didn't know so they let you go by here if you don't know it's an excuse so ignorance is not police at all so yeah so that is what is it so learn to 
be ahead of the game for those who are in the game of the mindset leading i was winning avoiding poverty avoiding uh, a lot of mistakes learn to be ahead of the game so learn to read the markets the trends what is trending why who is trending why are they trending is there a threat is there a benefit is an opportunity use it so take it i want to take as much at, at grasp the opportunity and make the most of it this man does now what a fool eventually does which is which is true so yeah let us be wise and do what we need to right now and the hate so to skynews.com twitter sues elon musk asking the u.s court to hold him to 44 billion dollar deal to buy the social media company i repeat twitter is suing elon musk asking the u.s court to hold him to that 44 billion dollar deal to buy the social media company so if you have not been following this story yes so there was it's been two months now or three months twitter put in uh elon musk put in a bid to buy the buy for 44 billion dollars from the way it was announced it sounded like he had already bought the company from my understanding so it looked like he had said yes i'm buying it he's not a new owner so i think people already assumed he was the owner because news was saying oh he's the owner congratulations to him he's buying he's bought twitter he's the new owner of twitter now this is new coming out that is holding him to buy the deal that means he hadn't bought the deal he hadn't bought the company yet i did see a few when he first came out uh, it said oh congratulations you're gonna he's bought it he has bought the twitter well done the tickets everywhere congrats i guess those who assumed or didn't know all the facts were already congratulating him but anyway so this looks like he had not yet bought the company or had not gone through with it so let us read through and try to understand what is happening and why because twitter is a very powerful company it, it's it's a powerful company it's all over the world it's it helps people who have no access to you know mass media or internet to voice the opinion from around the world and you can you get access to news people now can share what's happening in the neighborhood before you had to go through a tv news reporter and have a license but with twitter now you can share what's happening in Things which people never knew was happening we would be seen around the world now we know things are happening in this country in this place before it was hearsay and now because of twitter we know what's happening live somebody can record live the video you cannot say oh it's photoshop it's live video so thanks to twitter twitter is a powerful powerful platform if you know how to use it right isn't it so moving on anyway to today's story so the chair of twitter's board brett taylor tweeted that the board has filed a lawsuit in the delaware court of chancery to hold elon musk accountable to his contractual obligations so they are filing a lawsuit in the delaware court of chancery to hold elon musk or say elon musk accountable to his contractual obligations so the social media company asked the delaware court to order mr musk to complete the merger at agreed 54.20 dollars per twitter share in his court filing it said having mounted a public spectacle to put twitter in play and having proposed and then signed a seller-friendly merger agreement musk apparently believes that he unlike every other party subject to delaware contract law is free to change his mind crush the company disrupt its operations destroy stockholder value and walk away the chair of Twitter's board, Brett Taylor, tweeted that the board has filed a lawsuit in the Delaware Court of Chancery to hold Elon Musk accountable to his contractual obligation. The trial court frequently handles business disputes among the many corporations, including Twitter, that are incorporated there. Mr. Musk, the world's richest man, said last week that he was terminating the deal because the social media company violated the agreement by failing to respond to requests for information regarding fake or spam accounts on the platforms which is fundamental to its business performance 
So his representative said Twitter had failed to provide data and information requested by Mr. Musk to enable him to make an independent assessment of the prevalence of fake or spam accounts on the social media platform. So I guess that is what is happening. So both parties are claiming that the other party did not come through with the deal. As always, we don't know. If you're on the outside, we don't know. You only hear from what they say. As usual, we don't take sides, so we don't know what's on the inside. Who is right or who is wrong or who is not holding the end of the deal. But this shows that it hasn't gone through yet. It's been two months now since that has happened. Reason why you should be aware and that if you're on Twitter, sometimes a new head or lead might change the the laws, the agreements, the platform. So it might affect you if you have a, a large audience on Twitter, or you have a big following, or you have a lot of uh, you're using ads, or you are using a lot of videos. So it might affect you in case they change the rules of using the platform or what they're going to use, uh, how you can use the platform, the number of tweets you can share or another followers you can make. So that might affect you if you're using it, if it's a major influence. And also for those who are around the world who don't have access, it's good for them. So it might change. So it's good to know what is happening and who is taking over. Because some say must think is freedom of speech. Yes, well, that is there, but the other situation is still where you can follow that too. So, but yeah, that is what is happening with Twitter. So, so far, the deal has not gone through and looks like he was walking away. Because I read last week that he wanted to walk away from the deal. I'm like, oh, I thought he bought the deal, you know. So, apparently not. So, he has not 